When Ed and I went to the Global Pet Expo, we came across a species of lizard that was just truly incredible in so many ways. And I've wanted one ever since. I didn't think I would get one this early, but lo and behold, we just got some today. Inside of this box are not just one, but four Cuban false chameleons. We got these not only for our own entertainment and educational reasons, but also for breeding purposes too, because we are really looking forward to reproducing this species to offer it to the general public. You don't see these that often, so we are going to unbox a very unique species of reptile for you today. <sighs> Here we go. It's always nerve wracking to order any new reptile, because I'm always afraid that, you know, usually things don't happen during shipping. I still get a little worried. Wow, they have a lot of packing material, shredded paper and the styrofoam. All right, awesome. We're just gonna make a big mess with this, I think. Ooh, and a cool pack, you think? Probably. Yeah, cool pack, all right. Let's just get rid of this. We've got one bag. Oh, I think they're all in one single bag. Oh, all right, guys. Let's see, oh, I see a nose. What have we got here? We're gonna untie this and let's take a peek inside. Oh, there's a face. Well, hello. Coming right on out to say hi. Just look at this awesome animal. This lizard is actually not a species of chameleon. That's why they're called the false chameleon. Uh, they're actually a type of anole. And look at that huge head. It's like out of proportion for the rest of their body, which is one of the reasons why I think they're just so cool looking. They also have these really cool bristles underneath their chin and they're very calm. And I'm glad to see that these are calm too. This is just a characteristic of the false chameleon. They're really chill, laid back lizards, even right from the egg. So here's one, I'll hand him over. Is this the male? I see bulges there should be a set of enlarged scales that we might look Close. Oh, I wonder if they're right there. I bet those are the enlarged scales. I bet this is the male. Males are also known for having a blockier head, so we're gonna head, hand him over. What else? Oh, here's another. Hi, sweetie, aren't you alert? Wide-eyed and bushy-tailed. Wow, she's got this like gold speckling on her legs. You are beautiful. I'm assuming this is one of the females. We also have, she's moving around, so I'll hand her over to Ed. And coming out next is, I assume, another female. See, they do have a smaller head here. And you have a little mark on your head, but it doesn't look like it's a wound. I think that's just how you are. Again, some beautiful um, yellow speckling on the sides. A really big, blocky head in general, even for females. And last, they look really healthy so far. Last but not least, here you go, Ed. Last but not least, we have one more in here. We got a male and three females. You can't have some males together or they will fight. And this is a breeding group, so we won't have to wait for them to grow up before we start getting eggs, which is part of the reason why we jumped on this group and got them a little earlier than I was expecting. But man, look at her move around too. This is awesome. Cool thing about these guys is they can independently move their eyes, which is one of the reasons why people thought they were a species of chameleon at the beginning. And another neat thing is they are insect eaters, but they specialize in eating snails. So we will be giving them their normal diet that their old owner was feeding them, which was primarily dubia roaches. And we'll also be supplementing with sh um, snails with the shell still that you can actually buy canned. Here's three, are these the girls? Uh, this one's the boy. This That's one's the boy. The oh, you can even see like with him, you can see these bulges at the base of his tail. So that's another telltale sign that he is a male. Where'd the other female go? Oh, I see. There's the other female on Ed's back. <laughs> Being a species of anole, they will only lay one egg at a time, but since they are adults, we don't have to worry about raising them up. Like I said earlier, they will probably start breeding for us after they get settled into their new environment. And it doesn't take any socializing or handling to get these guys to calm down. They are just naturally a very calm and easy to handle lizard, which is one of the main things that really attracted me to the false chameleon. They will breed year round, usually laying one to maybe upwards of six eggs in a single month that they will just deposit in the sphagnum moss at the bottom of their enclosure. Now let's check out how Ed and I set up their enclosure.
for this hard water buildup, I'm gonna use one of my favorite tricks, using pH down and getting a little bit on a rag and wiping it down. You might be wondering during these unboxing videos why I'm so chill and relaxed when I open them up. And to be honest, some of the times Ed will open up the box before I record because I'm usually out of the house. This morning I was actually at a morning show with my reptiles on TV, so I couldn't be here during the time we accepted the package. So he opened it up, he made sure that they were okay, and then he did package them up again for me to unpack. But I still hadn't seen them, so it was still kind of a surprise to me too but it looks like they're doing great i'm really excited to have them so when they came in you don't have to film me oh okay i won't <laughs> film you what's up when they came in oh <gasps> here i'll grab okay what they laid an egg what like in the box in the bag in the bag there was an egg yeah. oh i i didn't know this to be completely i did not know this there was one egg already, like loose in the bag? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I thought it was like urates at first because there was like poop over top of it. Yeah. But then I was I was looking at it and I'm like, that's, and I felt it and it was totally an egg. Wow. It's actually whitened up a little bit since. Uh, Ooh, so maybe we'll have to candle it and see. That's crazy. They already laid yeah. an egg. I can't believe that. Well, I guess we'll incubate it and maybe we'll have babies sooner than I yeah. thought. <laughs> well. Four chameleons later, well, annuls if you want to be specific, and one egg later, we are all ready for breeding the Cuban false chameleon. Thanks for watching us unbox and set up their enclosure. We'll keep you posted on how this group does, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Such a lazy grab. You gonna try one of these ones? Just like doing the same thing. Like, ew. No. How about you? Maybe not. Yeah. Thought maybe. No. Yeah. These two are definitely. Yeah, here. Wow. I'll come down for food. Here, you want another? You have like a purple tongue. Yeah, I noticed that too. Awesome. Alrighty.